Fox 17 News investigates a mid-state woman's battle with the Tennessee Department of Children's Services. They took her children almost five years ago. She believes in error. Well, Fox 17 News Amanda Chin spoke with the mother and the children's former foster mom on why they feel the kids should be back home. This mother tells me she's tried to make every effort to show she's capable of taking care of her children. She's been to therapy, psychotherapy, and passed a positive parenting class. But the fight to get her children back continues years later. LaShante Reeves of Murfreesboro hasn't had custody of her four children since August of 2020. Why? Because a juvenile judge found evidence to believe Reeves' now ex-husband abused their infant child. Reeves says her baby had been in the hospital for several days. They let me stay in the room with him. I took care of him, changed him, fed him, everything. I never left that hospital room with him. And then after the second day that I was there, my husband calls me and tells me that DCS is there to take the rest of my kids. With no explanation on why. According to court documents, the Department of Children's Services believes Reeves was not home at the time of the alleged abuse. Reeves says she had no idea, and as soon as she found out what her then-husband allegedly did, she left him. The court documents also reference previous rib fractures in the healing stages. Due to safety concerns, DCS took the four children away from Reeves. They're saying that I should have known what was going on in my home. How am I supposed to know when I wasn't home? My kids aren't telling me nothing. He's not telling me nothing. I am completely blind to the situation. Jessica Lana fostered Reeves's four children. Lana is all about reunification when it's safe to do so and allowed Reeves to see her children. She definitely stood up to me from the beginning because she would contact me. Do the baby, does the baby need formula? Do you need diapers? Do you need clothes? She made sure her other kids were squared away with clothes, toys. Lana says Reeves would be on video chat with her children for hours, helping them with their schoolwork or reading books. Lana says the children were always asking to see their mom. How would you describe her as a mother? Great. I, I wouldn't have any reservations with her having her children, and I stated that since the beginning. This mom cares, she's attentive, she contacts. So I've dealt with a lot of families that their parents just wasn't present. This mom was constantly present. Every single day, she's reaching out. What do my kids need? What can I do? Due to federal and state law, the Department of Children's Services cannot comment on specific cases. However, a spokesperson for DCS says, quote, our utmost priority is the safety and well-being of children in our care and the families that we serve. Reeves says separation from her children is heartbreaking. It's hard and I'm about to cry, but it's, it's very hard to be without my children because I want to be able to be there with them when they wake up and when they go to sleep. If they're confused about something, like I miss my kids dearly. And being apart with them, like I feel like something's missing. I feel like there's a hole in my heart. Lana says she thinks the decision to keep these children separated from their mother will be detrimental to their well-being with constant trauma. The mother's custody hearing is expected to start on December 19th. Reporting in the studio, I'm Amanda Chin, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.